Professor Hubert. Hi, Harold. Hi. You look tired. No. No, no. Just calm. I'm sorry, Harold. But you have to die. What? It's, it's her masterpiece. It's probably the most important novel in her already stunning career, and it's absolutely no good unless you die at the end. I've thought about it over and over again, and I know this is hard for you to hear. You're asking me to knowingly face my death? Yes. Really? Yes. I, I thought you'd find, I, I thought you'd find something else. Sorry, Harold. Can, can't we just, just try and just see if she can change it? No. No? Look, in the grand scheme, it won't matter. Yes, it would. No, it won't. I, I, I could change. I, I could quit my job. I could go away with Anna. I could be someone else. Harold, listen to me. I can't die right now. It, it's just really bad timing. No one wants to die, Harold, but we do. You will die. Whether it's heart failure at the bank, some long drawn out disease you got on vacation, you choke on a mint, you will die. You will absolutely die. Even if it's not this death, death will meet you at some point. And I guarantee you it won't be nearly as poetic or meaningful as the one she's written for you. I'm sorry, Harold, but it's the nature of all tragedies. The hero dies, but the story lives on.